Let's see what we got here. So a minus one attack loss for a round. That's really good. We didn't even use no buffs, nothing. We just destroyed everyone. Who's in? Oh, Anivia's here. Oh, hey. See how they patched me up? Now I can run, jump, or dance the jig if I feel like. Any suspicious places in the city I should pay attention to? First one is the Silken Fred. Has she been here the whole time? I just didn't see. They're doing something in there, but sewing ain't it. Alchemy shop. They've been buying on the black market. There's something fishy going on. Tell me about yourself. Oh man, I'd be happy to just kind enough to tell. What's so interesting about me? Where are you from? Nidal. Ruled by monsters that aren't alive nor dead. Official origin is the kind of Zon Kafun. While other kids were picking their noses, I was picking pockets. Seems like everyone in this <laughs> game was, was a thief when they were younger. Okay, some creepy guys came for her when she was 12. They had their mouth sewn shut. Never saw my mum again. Quite a ragtag group you got here from nobles to street thieves. How did you meet Irabeth? Okay, so she was bored and stuff. One day, hired to follow some fellas. Made a rookie mistake, they caught me. Someone else killed me since I have the guts to myself. They grabbed me, I thought they'd gut me on the spot, but instead they hogtied me and dragged me off. <clears throat> they brought me to their stinking cave, threw me in the altar, and realized where I was. We've got to go sometime, right? So I was lying there staring at these knives. Pointing at me when fate rolled the dice and I hit the jackpot Irabov. There she was, storming into the cave. I'm lying on an altar with all these knife wielding maniacs around me. Suddenly, Irabev storms in. I thought it was Iomade herself, fierce in her shining armor with her gleaming sword waist. She made quick work of those scumbags, chopped them up just like that. I didn't even have time to blink. She untied me and then. Nevia's face lights up as she chuckles. She looked through the papers they had on the table, and she started swearing like a sailor. So much for Iomade, haha. <laughs> How did you and Erebeth end up in Canebris? After almost becoming a human sacrifice, I knew I never wanted to leave Erebeth's side. I fell for her instantly, and I fell hard. My misery was gone when Erebeth showed me what was in those papers, proof that the cults had a nest in her home city when I offered to help. She must have figured I couldn't wait to get my revenge on the cultists, but I didn't give a damn about them. It was her. I'd go anywhere with her. What is it like living with her? It's like living. Without her, I wouldn't be. Seriously, if I were alone, I'd definitely be gone by now. Sometimes we argue. Sometimes we bang our fists on the table. Yell. That's all about all the business. But at home, I'll give you an example. I always wanted to move out of that broom closet we call a house and somewhat cosier. 
Ain't like they take a vow of poverty at the Eagle Watch, but every month somehow most of our spare money is spent on Crusader business. Sure, I get mad about it, but it's part of why I love her so much. Mirabeth has that thing that matters most for a person, a purpose in life. She's always got a reason for whatever she's doing. Now she's the meaning of my life. So it really makes no difference if we live in a mansion or under a bush. That's kind of adorable. I just hang around. Do you want to know the details? Catch and trade spies. Alright. I found Janet Old Dory like you asked. Okay. Oh, lands. What, has he always been like this? Oh, he has. Well, that was fun. I guess we rest and we get out of here. If I were to bisect you right there, where your human and lizard halves meet, it would look quite ridiculous. Okay. If you did that, then each half would grow into a whole new land, and the two of them would give you a double beating. That's mongrel magic for you. I am super intrigued by her. Like, why is she like this? I wonder if that guy's her dad. Alright. Godspeed. God be praised. Hurry the hell up, Ernie. What a lovely scenery. No loot, nothing. I guess we didn't do it for loot. We done it for justice and honor. Oh Never mind, we did do it for loot. <gasps> All right, Hall Run, where the hell were you? I didn't even see Hall Run. sell this no no we wait we wait sell him. Ooh. Is hers cold iron? I'm pretty sure hers is cold iron. Oh, it's been unequipped by her. I may have just sold all her gears. Oh, it was some high armor. Looks cool. Do we give it this? Yeah, so that whole fight she didn't have a weapon. I just want everyone to know that. Does she have to use. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Six. She has to use uh, finesse based, right? That's what she's looking for. Yep, finesse wielding. Okay, that's fine. Oh, 
Why wouldn't I wear this? Cool. <clears throat> you don't have nothing on you. Um, yes, I think I just sold your bow. That's unfortunate. Do you have a bow, my dear? You do. There's the Minotaur. Look, they're picking it up. That's so cool. What a battle. Hmm. Let's stick with her for now. I think we're going to get allied spellcaster. Me and her stick together when we're fighting. Uh, what am I doing here? Why is there a quest here? Okay. Blackwing Library. I'd love to do that, but I want to do these quests. We finished at Market Square, right? Actually, you know what? I do want to do this. The library and then the Potassium Wine Cellar. Well, we have to go up here anyway. Oh, okay. So we may as well. Bro, this game's huge. Oh, it's a stealth check. Cool. Oh, into the location. Interesting. Sometimes it is a location and sometimes it's a... Uh, uh, like you collect random loot and stuff. Okay, tiny little spot. One second. That's the play. I like that. Two tanks, huh? It's fun. Fine by me. Can't believe we haven't got a healer. If we get a healer, I think Anivia go. Uh. Not Anivia, what's her name? Is he that stupid? Melia, what are you doing? I thought the game would have been smart, but yeah. Okay. What the hell, Camellia? Do I have to manually do it? my dear I am helpful am I not God's God be praised are we in trouble yet you've crossed the wrong mind is not <laughs> baby uh, don't even know what we're fighting. The light take you. The inheritors guide my way. Brilliant. Didn't even lose. Didn't even get hit. is this area? Let us press on. I found. It's 
sneaky. Something. Oh my god, it's that stranger. It's him. We march ahead. What the hell? I, uh, the game's taking the piss. Did you see that? The game's taking the piss. I think I just saved it. That the game is trolling me there. Godspeed. Open your heart to me. I am helpful, am I not? Okay. I am the answer, but what is the question? Right. Hey, is she gonna say anything? You require my unbiased opinion? Debuffs and attack. Okay. Is this that alchemy place she told us to come to? I'll it cut you so. wide open. Didn't know that guy was going to be that difficult. Let us press on. A helmet. I think that's the first bloody helmet fan in the game. Okay, so that guy's trying to be a god for some reason. Um, okay. Can you wear a helmet? Probably not. Oh my god, it looks like you can. I'm bending armor. This studded leather armor grants to wear a DR3 piercing. Light armor as well. Aren't you a light armor guy? No, you're not an armor guy. I might give you armor. Never mind. You're an armor girl. <clears throat> Are you an arcane caster? Okay, apparently that didn't change your... This DM increases the damage dealt by the Kineticus. Ah, oh, it's a Kineticus thing. Hey, if we get a Kineticus, I don't know what to give her. I probably won't use a Kineticus anyway. They're so... I can remember they were so confusing. Oh, charming. Look, they're doing the bloody... Oh, no option to uh, stop the cultists? Okay. Alright, cool little area. It's 
actually the first one of these we've, we've shown up to. First like tiny area, like kind of like Kingmaker's areas. Dead duelists. Scout out the Tower of Estrod. Oh my god, to cross we have to... Oh, okay. Alright, well, Tower of Estrod it is then. Ernie's very hurt. <laughs> That's fine. Cool. Purge the demons from Tower of Estrod. I'm always fine with purging demons. Always be ready for the worst. We respect him, so... Okay, that's fine. You need to you heal. Trust me. This is not worth. We're better off doing this. Let's go. Okay. What the? Canabris burns, a city that should never have fallen. Fate shows no mercy. Clouds may veil the stars, but nothing can hide the light in someone's soul, and I see this light in you. We will stand shoulders to shoulder with, with you against evil. I hear the echo of a familiar voice. I feel the warmth of my kindred flame, my brother. We will help you. Angelic aspect. Cool. You can take on aspect of an angelic being, including some of its physical characteristics. You take on. You can resist it to acid and cold. And DR5 to evil. Plus two bonus to AC. Plus two bonus on saves. Your natural weapons and any weapons you wield are considered good. H hell yeah. Hell yeah. Why the hell is Ernie back there? Oh, I'm curious. Our path leads on. Uh, I am scared though. Because this probably means that this area is going to be insanely difficult. Wait. Godspeed. Oh shit. <laughs> God, I love this picture so much more. The red-skinned, long-haired tiefling raises his pain-filled eyes to you. Hey, stop. Who, who are you? Crusaders. Well, well, well. I was looking to add a couple more Crusader heads to my collection and all. Why just assume we're Crusaders though? Where'd you get that idea, huh? I mean, do we look like Crusaders? Um, alright. I suppose that explains it. You certainly don't look like a Crusader. Thank you, we're no Crusaders, we're just ordinary thieves, vagrants, beggars. Well, and some local princesses, you can take her and we'll be on our way. 
You're trying to lie to me, freak? I see the blood of the conquerors of this world flows in your veins as it does in mine. You could have been on our side, but instead you're bowing and scraping for mortals. You can die with them. Disgusting filth, get out of here before I kill you all. Damn! Only the cowardly ramble have remained behind. Half of them quickly turned to flee the tower. I can kill you right now, I can give you a few more minutes of life. Answer my questions. Why not? Let's have a chat. Who are you? You don't look like a museum worker. Faxon. Ranking member of the Templars. New master of this town. You better watch your mouth. Time for an experiment. Mr. Cultist, allow me to ask, what exactly will you do to us when you inevitably vanquish us? I'll curse your soul, skin you alive. Okay, lovely. One, two, three frights, all of them already on my list. This specimen of demon worship is utterly devoid of ingenuity. I'm not certain that his superiors would even notice the death of an underling as lacking an imagination as he. Trophy scum, I'll break your legs. Oh no, that's better, that's much better. <laughs> what are you doing in the museum? How I served as cover for me and my servants. I set up my base in a cellar. It's the ideal place for a secret hideout. The museum was left in charge of a doddering old man who can hardly remember his own name. Now Lord Xanta has ordered us. To strip cannabis of everything that might be of interest to him and remove it from the sea. You look awful. What's wrong with your tattoo? Lady Minagla was displeased with me. He branded me with this rune to make me suffer. Seems my luck is turning. You don't look like rank and file crusaders. When I bring Margo, your heads all will be forgiven. You should have run when you first saw me. Okay, we are in such a bad position right now. What are you guys doing? Please just get in position. You know what, just attack. <gasps> Sneaky bastard. Did that work? Damn, no! I hate dredges so much. See how you like it. It says all enemies, right? Are they all asleep? What happened? Did it work? Did it fail? No idea. I have no idea what that did. No glory without risk. That well, they're not asleep. He's not asleep. 
Fun out. Oh, angelic aspect. Holy crap, that spell's insane. He's tripped, brilliant. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Oh, okay, that's really annoying. I just wasted that. That's really annoying. Wait, wait, wait. What just happened? Only makes attack of opportunity. Only hits for nine. Oh, okay. Damn. You won't survive me. Electric work on you? No, it doesn't. Our spellcasters are not very useful right now. That'll do it. GG's. I expected a lot more than that because of the angels buffing us. I'll take it. Masterwork. Heavy mace. Sword of snowball. Future awaits us. What's this? Why is it white? Oh. Can't hide from me. Oh. Oh shit. Are they talking about that beautiful golem? The beauty golem that we've got? You can go to the basement. Let us press on. Hello, hello, hello. She didn't I run on the trap. This. I do. Push the column. Okay. Thanks, Lan. You're so awesome. Man. Not quite sure why. Pretty good, aren't I? Now it's lighting white, but I can't click on it. We march ahead. Don't know if it's meant to do that. Our path leads on. 
stuff in here. I will guide us. What the? You brought us back to wake and greeting. Who are you? So your memories of who? Okay. You feel as you badly evaded with no thoughts for yourself. You have earned no censure. We are proud of you. Why did you help me? Okay, so she sensed the angel thing. Cool. Oh, that's your Neil. There he is. Godspeed. All right, to the basement we go. Not creepy at all. Was this the old man who they were talking about? Hey, who are you? Praise Bethlehem. What are you doing here? Did Faxon send you? I heard a noise outside, but I was busy making a list of the relics. Who are you? Thelma, the scribe and senior aide to Lord Zante. He's the plagued one. And do forgive me, but Faxon has been assigned to this command. Has he not? Where is he? What are you doing here? Compiling a list of the valuable Crusader artifacts. Lord Zante has offered order that everyone. Everything of use should be transported from Canebus and saved from the looting and destruction. We chose the museum as the place to collect and sort through the trophies. Unfortunately, the local thieves have proved even quicker off the mark than the demons. They ransacked the museum in the first few hours of the assault. There are some objects, objects of interest. Where is Faxon? Finest fuse and Mendev. Turn your back and everything that isn't nailed on the floor will be gone. Demons have no chance against them. Masters of our trade we are. There you go, bragging again, dummy. Thieving has never led to anything but harm. Trust me, support the way you thieve. Now that might be useful. No thanks, every person has their calling and this is mine. But imagine if you fought as well as we thieve. Where's the museum custodian? Over in the gallery, I deceived him. I told him I was a crusader. It wasn't difficult. Fair off before I kill you. You're lying. You want me to turn away so you can strike me in the back to the paper that's been trusted to me. No, I have valuable letters from Lord Zantir here. I must destroy them. He shoves them in his mouth and starts chewing like a hamster. He tries to cough, but nothing comes out. The failed saboteur looks at you in desperation. His eyes are streaming. His face is growing paler by the second. He falls to his knees. A strangled wheeze emerges from behind a wad of wet paper. He signals for your help. No, I want to read what it says. Spit that out. Want some salt or pepper with that? Now I've never tried eating paper myself. But a little seasoning goes a long way. <laughs> Silently watch the elf die. Uh, help the poor wretch. I don't care if those pages contain the innermost secrets of Baphomet himself. I'm not touching that. God, she's so rich. Cross violently and then after taking a trembling breath, leaps up and takes off running, he disappears, leaving me with a wad of correspondence. That's much the worse fear. Alright. 
We march ahead. Oh god, is this a puzzle? Oh, it's just law. I need to go find the old geezer. I am helpful, am I not? Ooh, yes, you are. Change shirt. Lady Calandra's train shirt. Each ring in this mithril train shirt is still uh mithril. Mithril is very rare, so we grace metal that's lighter than steel, but just as hard. When worked like steel, it becomes a wonderful material. Most mithril armors are one category lighter than normal. The light armors are still treated as light? No! This decrease does not apply to proficiency in wearing armor. Spell failure transfer armors and shields made from mithril is decreased by 10%. Dexterity bonus are increased by 2. And armor check penalties are decreased by 3. An item made from mist. Oh my god. So. If I could wear mithril, that would be really good. She's probably our mithril girl then. Twenty-one. I'm looking good, girl. Uh, I should give her a shield. I might make her a dual wielder. I might just do that. I have a feeling mid game or end game she's going to be pretty insane. I am helpful, am I not? I found something. Is it the trap? Yes it is. Okay. Our path leads on. I'll watch your back. The spirits guide me. Sorry. Okay. Um my down, <laughs> down on my arrow is my push to mute. Oh, what is that? Whenever someone uh, wants to. I hope you appreciate this. I am helpful, am I not? You are. Ooh, too great. Now I wonder if he can only use knives. I'm pretty sure he's a knife specialist or something. I forgot what it's called. You're a hundred percent, there's no way we another longbow. Falchata. My tail is restless. I will guide us. Okay. Whenever this plus one composite longbow confirms a crit, all enemies in a 10 foot area must pass a reflex saving throw or becoming tangled for a round. Bro. We lose some damage, but that is so good. Um, the reason this is better is because whenever he crits, he just one shots so there's no benefit to the curse really unless I'm fighting bosses but so this would be our boss uh, fight um, but if he crits with this anyone around him even if that guy dies gets Angle. It's really 
really good. Really good. There's some crazy good gear in here. Now, can you use Kukri's? Can't. Oh, here he is. Godspeed. Holy crap. Gotta be something hidden in here, right? Press on. Stay back. What are you, robber or demon? Hey, take it easy, Gramps. That's the way it is, eh? He haunts you think thief or demon. Quit scaring the old man. I'm not going to hurt you. Yeah, I'm sorry, I was distracted. What were we talking about? Who are you? I think I forget. I'm Teldon, the Custodian here. My memory isn't what it once was. My faculties are failing me. But at one time, my mind could cut like a diamond. I was a battle mage, one of the few who survived. I'm an old man now. Sometimes I set down my keys one moment, and the next I can't remember where I put them. Oh, bless him. Controlled amnesia, the ability of the mind to eliminate non-essential information. What we have here is a case of plain old senility. Hey, there are my keys, my little lovers. I would never give you away to anyone. What are keys for? And for everything. I can open every door in the Tower of Estor with these. Keys were left unattended. They would be pinched by thieves, wouldn't they? Thieves would strip the museum of all its treasures. I just did that. What are you all looking at me for? Give me the keys. I had a question. I don't understand. This museum holds things that could help in the fight against the demon. Oh my god. We failed it. Hey, what's that behind you? Why did the demon spare you? That half elf was a demon worshipper? They took the relic. Sorry, did you say something? What happened here? Bell started ringing, then there were noises in the street. Dragon lady began to roar. I went to lock the door, but they were already inside. Seven thieves, or perhaps ten. They were all orphans, supposing that they were dangerous. Grabbed me, wouldn't let me go, and then they looted the place. Took everything. Relics. They took the wand, and even when they were done, trust me, silent that piece of junk didn't even bother to kill me. What wand did they steal? Wonder Zacharias, my master. Damn. Where can I find these robbers? They're thieves, they know out of the way places where they won't be found. That's where they are. If they're still alive, but they won't be in the city. I heard them talking amongst themselves about how they need to get out of Kniebel before the demons wipe them out. Are you alright? Old age. I'm frightened, my young friend. I'm very frightened. Oh, bless him. I ain't reading all that. You said that a the angels Targona and Lariel are twins, but how can angels have siblings? These are two angels who've emerged from one soul. What else do they call themselves if not twins? Go to the Defender's Heart. There are good people there. They'll look after you. Really? It's safe there? How can I leave the museum? You know what happened here, don't you? Thieves, they were prowling about wanting to rob the place. But I stopped them. 
You worry about me, I may be old, but I can still hold my own. Damn. Poor lad. Alright, that's everything. That is everything. I know for a fact there's a secret upstairs or a puzzle or something and I've just not figured it out. Like why what would be the reason of hitting this down? Why would we need to hit that down? To land on someone? And we pressed something and it moved that here? Like, why? That's just to jump across. Yeah, I guess that's it. Apologies if I sound very tired, but ladies and gentlemen, it is 1.30 where I am. And that just tells you how much I am loving this game. And that just tells you that it's another day done in Pathfinder Kingmaker. Be sure to like and subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch, Amario, at Amario at RPG. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for all the support and watching, and I'll see you guys next time.